Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lynn and thank you for stopping by. So for today's video, I thought we could just sit down and do a little get ready with me chit chat, trying out some new makeup products and especially the new Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I also got the concealer and a lip gloss and also the setting powder. So I thought I could just sit down and create a look using the new palettes and try out the new products. And I thought I would update you a little bit on what has been going on. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a month and that is because of the situation and because of the baby. I recently became a mom about one month ago now and the baby was 12 days overdue so I had to get induced. And I also felt I needed some time to adjust and relax and I will tell you all about it in this video. So if you're new to this channel, I really hope you decide to stick around. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and also click the bell so you will get notified every time I upload a new video. And also be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like these ones and you want me to do more. And as you can see, I've done my brows and put on my base like my foundation. And the foundations that I'm using today is the NARS. Radiant foundation and also the Kat Von D and this I have in the shade 48 light and this one is in L3 Go B and on my skin I also have used the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer just to add some glow back to my face because let me tell you I haven't slept in weeks <laughs> so I'm a bit tired and therefore, I wanted to test out the new Jeffree Star Concealer. This is the Magic Star. Let's see about this one. This is C4. I'm so excited to try this out because of all the reviews and videos that I have seen here on YouTube. And my shape tape is almost out. Hopefully, this is as good. So I'm just going to add it on the places where I normally do. And then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty sponge. So I can now say that... This is a great concealer for those of you who have problem finding light enough shades because this one is light. But my first impression of this concealer is that it is amazing. I actually like this more than my shape tape just for my first impression. Like it doesn't settle into lines. It looks very smooth, flawless on the skin. And the shade is also very nice. Fair in most brands, especially drugstore, is not fair enough for me, I feel like. So this one, this is even C4 and I feel like this is pale enough. So if you are paler than me, just buy the C2 or C1 and you will have a shade that is perfect for highlighting. So I really enjoyed this so far, but we will have to see how it sets and also how it lasts throughout the day. So I will not do a final opinion on this concealer today, but I will definitely let you know in a upcoming video. So to set this, I'm gonna use the Magic Star setting powder. The container is so incredible cute. So I picked up this powder in the shade Rose because I felt like it had a little bit of that highlighting effect. And I'm just gonna add a tiny amount because I don't want my under eyes to look very dry. And I'm also gonna set my nose. And let me tell you, this powder even smells so yummy. I can't deal. You should definitely go and grab it and test it out for yourself. Like my pores magically vanished. It looks so flawless and it is such a light powder that you can barely see it once you have it on as well. Definitely one powder that I will test out more and let you know my final opinion on. So I got this palette a couple of days ago and I am so excited to test it out. I could barely wait. So here you can see all of the shadow. I think this is such a bold palette, but I really love this compared to the Blood Sugar, which is my favorite, and the Blue Blood. You get like all of these red tones in one and blue tones in one, and I really enjoy this palette because you have a lot of different shades. So I feel like this is a great palette for those of you who just want to bring one palette with you and you want a lot of different shades because this has pretty much everything. So I'm excited to try this out and play around with this, but first we will have to prime and I will use the P. Louis base. So yeah, where should I start? Life has been pretty hectic and 
for about one month ago I had my baby finally so I was 12 days overdue and I had to be induced and I was not expecting everything to go down the way it did and I was supposed to vlog the whole experience but once I was in it and it was so painful and there was some complications and stuff happening I just forgot the whole camera and the whole situation. I just wanted to be done, like being 12 days overdue. You just want everything to be done. You want to meet your baby and also the postpartum. Like I thought labor was going to be bad, but postpartum was probably the worst thing I've ever experienced. Like nobody talks about what happens after birth. So the reason why I haven't uploaded any videos for the past weeks is because I was in so much pain. I could barely sit for the past four weeks. And the first two weeks I was laying down. I had so much pain. I was swollen. And it was crazy because I was not sleeping, of course. I had to get up to breastfeed every second to third hour as well. So becoming a mom is hard and that is pretty much why I haven't uploaded because things have been very hectic. I'm trying to get the hang of everything and adjust to the situation. And finally now, after four weeks, I can sit and I start to feel normal, even if I'm not healed in any way, like I still have the hormone stripe as well down in my belly. So to start off, I think I will take Cone right here, which is a beige cream shadow. And I think I will apply this to my crease using a Jessup Small Tapered Blending Brush, the 222. Let me tell you, I had a burp plan. But everything that I had wrote on that plan didn't happen. Like I had to be transferred to a different section at the hospital. The head got stuck and I got a fever mid-birth. So there was a lot of things that happened and nothing did go the way that I planned or expected it to go. So I will do a separate video sharing my birth story with you guys. Where I just sit down and I do a everyday makeup look I think. So I also know that I haven't shared anything on my social media about the baby and a lot of you guys have asked for pictures and stuff but let me tell you once I am ready to share that I will but for now and because of the situation and all that has been going on for the past year. So just know that I will let you know and talk about it once I'm ready to talk about it but for now, I want to keep it for myself and that's just the way it has to be right now. So next, I will take this color right here, which is called F-U-C-K. So I will not say that word, but I will take that and I will also add that into my crease. So I will use a more tapered blending brush for that color so we will get it precisely into the crease. And I absolutely love Jeffree Star eyeshadows because the pigmentation and the quality is amazing and as you can see this is a pigmented color and I barely dip it into the pan and I will kind of keep it from the inner part of the inner corners to a second third of the eye and as you can see this color has some pigment but yeah what else is new like being a mom, you don't get to sleep a lot, especially not now in the beginning because I have to go up and change diapers and all that jazz, but luckily I'm not alone. Ooh, love, love, love. Then I will take a bubble gum, which is this bright pink right here, and I will apply that in my outer crease area. For those of you who have been following me a while, you know that I love my pinks and purple shades. So this color is definitely gorgeous as well. Like, I'm loving it. So I'm kind of blending these two shades together as well in the crease. Then I will go back with the cone shade and just blend over the two shadows and mix everything together. 
Then I will pick up this a more berry pinkish shade, which is called Cherry Wet. So I will take a smaller blending brush as well, and this we will focus on the outer part of the eyelid. And also blend it into the crease, but we're not taking it as high as in the other shades. Oh, this is just as pretty as in the liquid lipstick. Oh my god, I can't. I'm pretty sure this will be like my new go-to palette because of the variety of the shades, the quality. So now I will play with a metallic shade. So I will take this Cotton Candy, which is a gorgeous metallic pink shadow. And we will apply that to the middle of the eyelid. I will, of course, wet my brush. And I'm using a Makeup Mecca blending brush in the number 201. Adding some Fix Plus. Ooh. Okay, this color, you guys, are stunning. And let me tell you, you don't get any fallout, especially with a wet brush, and I absolutely love this color. Look how vibrant this look is, OMG. So now I will take Snack, which is this lightly pinkish orange shade right here, which is more like a skin kind of color, I would say. And we are gonna focus this on the inner corners. This is also such a beautiful shade. Like, this will be so beautiful with some pastel colors. Ooh. And then I'm taking the brush that I applied the cotton candy with, and we're just gonna work on the transition right here. So now I will go back in with cone and apply that to my lower lashes. And I'm using the brush that I used on the Sherry Wet. So we will get some pink that's left on the brush as well on the under eyes. So this is pretty much one of the favorite looks I have created so far on my channel when it comes to colors. So I will just go ahead and apply some mascara and lashes and I will be right back. So now the lashes and mascara are on and I decided also to pop some liner into my waterline as well. So this is the Urban Decay 24-7 in the shade smoke which is a black one so let me tell you absolutely love the eyeshadow palette so far i personally love how the neon pink comes together with the more orangey berry tones as well definitely a palette i will play more with because there's a lot of shadows that speaks to me like these down here the red ones and all these shadows over here as well i really want to sit down and create more looks with this so if you want that give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below which shadows you want me to play with as well so overall this is definitely a palette that i would recommend to you guys so i didn't see a lot of fallout in the palette and i had no fallout whatsoever underneath my eyes not with the metallic shades or not with the matte shades so definitely a palette i would recommend and i'm sure you will enjoy it if you are on the hunt for a palette that has a lot of different shades and with this palette as you can see you can create a lot of different looks so to contour, I will use the Marc Jacob Light Filtering Contour Powder. This is in the shade Mirage Filter, and I will take this cool tone brown shadow right here. And I absolutely love this shadow for contouring, especially if you are a little bit pale. Like I usually go in this tree number three shape right here with my contour. That is what I like to do. So this palette has that perfect cool tone shade if you are blonde or more on the fair side of the spectrum like I am. But now I have a little bit of self tan on so I am a little bit more tan than usual. But for me on my fairest days as well, this is an amazing duo because you also get a highlighting powder which you can use to set your under eyes as well. Absolutely love, love, love. Then I would just go down the sides of my nose just a little bit to add some warmth where the sun naturally would hit. So I'm not doing a huge contour around the nose. I'm just going down the sides and a little bit on the tip. And then I would take a little bit of the Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronzer, which is also one of my favorite colors. And we're just going to warm up 
the cheeks a little bit more. And this smells so good, you guys. Ooh. So now I will go over my face with the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. And we will add a lot. This will also make the skin look more like skin and add some glow back to the face after applying a lot of powder. I love to do that. So the highlighter that I'm going to apply today is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft Gentle. So this has been pretty much like a go-to highlighter for me for the past years. Absolutely love how subtle and natural this looks. I feel everybody suits this, even if you are like very fair or very tan. This is a gorgeous highlighter. So for blush, I will use the MAC Cosmetics Extra Dimension Blush in the shade Sweets for my sweets. And I also saw on Instagram that you guys asked a lot of if the baby was here. And as I've told you, the baby is here. And I also told you the reason why I haven't shared a lot on here yet but I will in the future I just need to take my time and I need to do it my way and I don't want to rush anything and I also need to make sure that I'm doing it for the right reasons as well I will align my lips with this Maybelline lip liner this is the Gigi Hadid edition so this is just a nude lip liner I'm not sure if it has any name The baby pretty much just sleeps at night time so it is awake almost all day and maybe I get like 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there so therefore I will have a makeup collection and a closet tore up next because that is videos I can film and go back and forth to film and I don't need to sit down and talk for pretty much two hours straight which I have now. So now my boyfriend is downstairs watching the baby so that is why I can sit up here and enjoy my two hours of filming but other than that usually on a daily basis there is a lot of running back and forth and all that because I have to prioritize now that I am a mom. So the lipstick that I will apply today is the L'Oreal Color Rouge Shine in the shade Topless which is 658. And this is a gorgeous nude shade. So the gloss that I picked up from Jeffree Star is called Ice Cold. It looks like this. The packaging is so cute as well. And as you can see, it has some blue sheen to it and it has a lot of glitter. So this is a gloss that I think will look perfect on top of a red lip. Like this is my vibe right here. So I'm excited to try it out more in future videos. So to finish off this video and look at the products that I have used, absolutely love the eyeshadow palette. I love the concealer so far. It hasn't settled into my lines yet. My skin also looks flawless on the places where I have applied it. And the setting powder is also a love so far. So I would definitely let you guys know in a favorites video which product works and which didn't but I have some beliefs I have some thoughts already and I'm pretty sure these are some great products so yeah that is pretty much the whole look you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed a kind of different chit chat get ready with me video I know it was pretty much all over the place I'm not sure what I've talked about so my brain doesn't function as it used to because I am on a one hour sleep two hours sleep three hours sleep I'm breastfeeding I'm dishwashing like I'm doing a lot of stuff at one time and it is not easy but I am adjusting I am happy I'm feeling great and my life is just good at the moment so let me see if you guys ask some more questions yeah, any baby updates and I have kind of updated you a little bit. I will update you more in my labor and birth video which I will try to film this week. And then someone also asked me what is your favorite makeup line and that is pretty much hard. But for eyeshadow I would definitely say Jeffree Star. I absolutely love his eyeshadow palettes because they are so pigmented and the price point is not bad and the quality is great. You get a lot of product as well so if I had to choose one brand 
for buying eyeshadow palettes for the rest of my life it will be Jeffree Star but other products than that I would say Marc Jacobs and Chanel and those are also brands that I always go back to and stuff so yeah that is pretty much everything you guys I really hope you enjoy this so far I love this look this is one of my favorite looks that I have created for you guys so if you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you're still here and you haven't subscribed be sure to hit the subscribe button I do shout outs in my videos as well for those of you who are on the notification squad so be sure to hit the bell leave a comment down below hashtag notification squad let me know that you have rang the bell and there is your chance to get featured in my next video and without further ado I love you guys thank you for watching and being so patient with me and I will see my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.